Seagate Pass service allows nominated users to either search for an existing record or authorize a registered transporter or a train operator to pick up his import container or drop his export container at a registered service provider location such as a seaport or a container freight station or an inland container depot or an empty yard etc. Registered users who are nominated in an export pre-advise or an import release such as shipping line, importer, box operator, container freight station, inland container depot, exporter, custom broker, freight forwarder, transporter or a train operator can access the eGate Pass service on from the menu bar by selecting eGate Pass and Gate section under Manage tab. Here everyone can search, sort, and view an existing eGate Pass if they are a nominated party in the transaction. Users who have appropriate privileges can also nominate, cancel, edit, action or print an eGate Pass. In case you are unable to search for an eGate Pass, this means probably you are not the nominated party for that transaction. Search eGate Pass on the eGate Pass search page, enter any known search criteria and click on the search button. Search results as per the search criteria are displayed on screen. Under Add Criteria field, users can find additional search criteria, which they can use to narrow down their search which meet their requirements. Each eGate Pass has a unique reference number known as eGPID. Each eGate Pass is for a single export or import container. You may download the searched result to your computer by clicking on the Download PDF button or the Download CSV button. The search result in the selected format will be downloaded to your computer. The small checkboxes on the left of each eGate Pass allows user to select multiple eGate Pass and perform actions such as nominate, edit, cancel, action, or print. Edit. An export eGate Pass can be edited by a user if they are the box operator or a party nominated in the corresponding export pre-advise. It is not possible to edit an import eGate Pass. The edit feature allows the users to provide the export container details and upload mandatory documents to take print of an eGate Pass. The edit button is only applicable for export eGate Pass and open, nominated, submitted, approved active, rejected, or failed status. To edit an eGate Pass, select the eGate Pass by clicking the checkbox next to the eGPID and press the edit button in the bottom right-hand corner. Multiple eGate Pass can be selected and edited together. The edit screen opens showing the container details which need to be entered. Enter the container details. In case container number, ISO code or IMDG details have already been provided in the corresponding export pre-advise then these container details cannot be edited in the eGate Pass service. Upload the mandatory documents required. Please note that each uploaded document needs to be uniquely named, otherwise it will be rejected by the system. On pressing the submit button the confirmation page shows that the edit transaction has been successfully submitted. Press the back button on the bottom left head corner to go back to the eGate Pass search screen. Action button can only be used by the box operator who created the corresponding export pre-advise. Action button is only available for export eGate Pass, where VGM required field was selected as yes, and status is submitted. The box operator selects the checkbox against the eGate Pass and submitted status. He can select multiple eGate Pass for approval. User then clicks on the action button in the bottom right-hand corner to approve or reject the export eGate Pass. Alternatively, the box operator can also open the record by clicking on the eGPID hyperlink to open the view page. Here you can click on the action button in the bottom right-hand corner to open the pop-up menu. In the pop-up menu select an action approve or reject, enter comments if any, and then click OK. On approval by box operator the eGate Pass status changes to approved. Until the eGate Pass is approved by the box operator the transaction cannot move forward, thereby preventing the eGate Pass from going to active status and print being available. Nominate button in the bottom right hand corner of the search page is provided to nominate a transporter company, driver, and truck number to an eGate Pass. 
Any user who is the box operator, or a party nominated in the corresponding export pre-advise, or import release can do the nomination. Nominate function is not available for e-gate pass and status, working, arrived, departed, expired, or queued. To nominate select the checkbox against the e-gate pass and click on nominate button, a new page open with the selected e-gate pass and container details. Click on the additional details icon against each e-gate pass to provide, or view optional details as required. In the Transporter Company field enter the company name to search, and select a registered transporter company. The field is equipped with Smart Search. In case you are unable to search for a transporter company then please contact customer support team for further assistance. In case the transporter company has already been nominated through export pre-advice or import release then the field becomes uneditable. The nominated transporter or any other nominated party can nominate the driver and truck for the trip. If the truck and driver are registered, then the user can use the search button and select a value. Alternatively, in some locations free text can be entered in truck and driver fields. Driver and truck number needs to be provided, in order to change the e-gate pass to active status, and take the print of e-gate pass. Please note that allows a truck, to be nominated to maximum one import and one export round trip at a given time. Also, either 140 feet or 220 feet containers can be assigned to each of these trips depending on the registered truck size. The truck can be assigned the next trip only once the assigned round trip has been completed. On entering all the mandatory fields, click on the submit button. A confirmation pop-up window appears. Click on the OK button to continue. A pop-up window with a success message is displayed. Print e-gate pass. Only e-gate pass which are in status active, queued, failed, arrived or departed can be printed. Import e-gate pass having a discharge reconcile container status, remain in open status, and are not allowed to be printed, since the containers are still on the ship, and hence are not available in the terminal yard for pickup. Printing of such e-gate pass is only allowed once the container status changes to discharge and e-gate pass status becomes active, meaning the containers has been discharged from the ship, and is available in the terminal yard for pickup. Maximum 20 e-gate pass can be selected at any one time and printed together. Select the checkbox against the e-gate pass which need to be printed. After selecting the desired e-gate pass, click on the print button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. The PDF file of e-gate pass gets downloaded onto your computer. Open the downloaded PDF file to view the e-gate pass. Cancel. In search page select the checkbox against the e-gate pass whose nomination needs to be cancelled. Click on the cancel button on the bottom right hand corner. Only e-gate pass and status nominated, submitted, approved, or active can be cancelled. To cancel the nominations in the e-gate pass, click on OK to continue. The confirmation pop-up window, selected containers are cancelled is displayed. Click on OK to continue. The status of the cancelled e-gate pass changes to open, and is again available for nomination. View e-gate pass and history. Click on the eGP ID hyperlink to open the view e-gate pass screen. Users can review the container and transporter details here. Click on the history button on the bottom right hand corner. A pop-up window displays the amendment history along with the action date and time. On the pop-up window, click on the request ID, to view the details of the previous version. Click on the back button, to go back to the search screen. Thank you.